Here's my idea for throttle base gains for AS3X that has a delay so that the gains increase slowly when you throttle back and they decrease quickly when you throttle up so that your plane won't go into oscillation as it's getting faster. So, under model setup, under channel assign, I'm using uh, channel 9 for flight modes in the receiver. Channel 10 is gain, AS3X gain, and I do not have an input here because I'm using a mix to control it. And then I've already got heading gain set up that I've been using on the right trimmer and stop lock rate on channel 12. And uh, seven's reverse, switch F, eight is nose wheel steering, and the rest of it's usual stuff. But the main thing is the gain channel, no input here. And you need a flight mode switch because uh, in this setup, I use switch C to switch between gyro off and variable gains and fixed gains or safe mode. If you don't want gyro off, you can use that position for fixed gains and you can use the other side of the switch for safe and the middle switch position for variable gains. So anyway, gain channel, no input on channel assign. The um, audio events, I like to set up switches that uh, tell me what they do. And so I've got gyro off. And if you use a Y, it can't pronounce it correctly. And then auto gains is the middle position and the safe modes here. So if you didn't want safe mode, you could make this fixed gains and you could make this gyro off like I have it. Or you can make this fixed gains and leave this safe mode, whichever way you want to do it. But you're going to have three positions for your gain settings. And um, so if we go into, oh, yep, I have a receiver hooked up. So I set up, I set up one mix. It's simply throttling the channel 10. That's my gain channel. And the switch is C, so that when C is in zero, the gains are zero because I set the values to minus 100%. Now you can set these anywhere you want them if you want variable gains on this position, or you can set it to fixed in the receiver and tell it what gain to use and not use the variable gain side here. And anyway, go back to the middle. This is the auto gains. And of course it's a throttle into the gain channel directly. So there's no delay here. I do the delay in the servo speed and I can do one speed going one way and one speed going the other. You'll see that in a minute. But now you can set this, this is full throttle, full throttles down here. So you could say set this to 50% gain, which would be zero or down here, wherever you want it. You can set idle to be a hundred percent and you can use the the gain settings in the receiver to set what 100% gain is. Um, or you can set the gains from receiver higher and set this below 100. So anyway, you can control the gains that you get at the various throttle positions here by moving the curve up and down. Or you can set this curve to go from, say, 100% down to 50% or 25%. You can make the curve be whatever you want it to be because you can set these points where you want them. Um, so, like I say, you can either set the gains in forward programming or you can set them here 
doesn't really matter. Um, so there's two ways to set the gains. You either adjust the curve or you adjust the maximum values in the receiver. And then the uh, switch position two, uh, I have it going to safe mode right now. And I do want some AS3X gain and it's set to zero, which is 50% gain. So you can adjust this up or down. You can use this to control the gain or you can set the gains to fixed in safe mode and set the gains manually. It, you can set gains here or you can set gains in the receiver. But now if you set them here, because the gain channel has servo speed assigned to it, the gains are gonna change slowly if you go through the mix. Um, if you set the gains to fixed in the receiver, uh, when you flip the switch, they're gonna change instantly and that's what you really want when you're going from um, variable to fixed. If you want, uh, let's go in here and look. So in flight mode one, actually in the flight modes, you got a lot of control. It, you know, whichever way you want to set this, you can turn the gyro off here or you can turn it off by turning the gains down. But if you turn the gains down through the throttle base gain and the, serve, the channel has a delay on it, it's going to be slow turning the gain down. So if you want the gyro off instantly, either inhibit it here or set the gains to fix and set the gains to zero. So a lot of ways to do this. And then here's auto gains, AS3X is active. And in safe mode, here's your safe self level. And I always use low throttle to pitch so that the plane will lower its nose in safe mode. Safe mode when I throttle back. So anyway, um, you got to get these basics set correctly. And then, um, so here we're in safe mode. This is mode three and I've got them set to 30, 40 and 50 which is what I've always used in my EDFs. I used to use a gain sensitivity of 1x, but now I have to use 0.5x because they double the gains in the receiver. And so flight mode flight mode 2 is auto gain. And you see I've got them turned up pretty high. But if you had your curve going from 100% at idle down to like 25% at full throttle, then you would get 100% of this which these may be too much, but at any rate, you can set the gains here for what you get at uh, idle and then set the curve to where it turns the gains down far enough at full throttle so that it doesn't go into oscillation. And in safe mode, well, I think I've already been here, 30, 40, and 50. Gyro off. All right, gyro off. See, I turned it off in the flight mode setup so you don't get to see the gains. And um, so anyway, right here, since I've got flight mode one turned off, it doesn't show them. Auto gains. And flight mode two, this is AS3X gains and they're set to adjustable. You gotta have this or your auto gains won't work. Your throttle to, um, your throttle base gains. Safe mode. And then flight mode three, I have set up as safe mode right now. But it could be fixed gains, which you want these set to fixed. And then um, now this is heading gain, which we're really not concerned with. Right now we're just trying to fix uh, AS3X gains to where they vary with the throttle and they've got a delay built into them. So at any rate, so here's my 0.5x that I use now. I used to could use 1x, but I can't use 1x anymore. My planes oscillate. All right, so don't don't click capture gains here. Otherwise, these are the gains that are going to be put into it, and it's going to be changed from adjustable to fixed. So do not click this button. So 
We're in adjustable gains. I'm going to move the throttle from idle to full throttle and watch what these gains do and how long it takes. See, they went down to that, and I'm going to pull the throttle from full throttle back to idle. And look how slow the gains build up. So that slowness is coming from slowing the servo channel down. So we go to the next gain, and that's heading gain. We're really not concerned about it. Lock, stop lock rate, all that good stuff. You can set these any way you want to. But at any rate, to see what the gains are doing, go into capture gyro gains, but do not click this button. Just watch what the gains do on the screen as you flip the switch and move the throttle. See, it goes to zero immediately. Safe mode. And in safe mode, it goes to, it goes to my fixed gains of 30, 40, and 50 almost immediately, as fast as the receiver can tell the transmitter it did it. So this bypasses, setting these to fixed, bypasses the slowness of the gain channel. All right, so how do we get the slowness of the gain channel? So we go to servo setup. We go to speed and come down here to gain. And see, I have it set for two seconds one way and 10 seconds the other way. And you can set these however you want them. And I'm in the wrong flight mode. Let me change to uh, the center position. Auto gains. All right, now we're in auto gain. So I'm at full throttle and we're at uh, minus 49, which will be 25% of whatever you set for the gains. And then as I pull the throttle stick to idle, suddenly you see how slow the gains increase and they go up to 75 plus 75%, which is what? Seven eighths of your gain that you got set. I'm using the speed of the channel to set how fast the gains go from max to minimum. So if, if you're at idle and you go to full throttle, the gains decrease as quickly as this is set to. And if you're at full throttle and you pull the stick all the way to idle, the gains increase very slowly. And you can increase this number to make them increase even slower. So really it's all there is to it. You just make a throttle into the gain channel mix with a curve and you slow the channel down here and use the uh, flight mode switch in the mix to control whether you get the throttle base gain or no gain Safe mode. or fixed gain depending on whether you're telling the receiver to do it or you're having the gain channel control. Since I slowed down the, the servo travel on the gain channel, if you want to go to gyro off or fixed gains, it's better to do it in the receiver than to do it with this. Basically, the only thing um, this mix is good for is the throttle base gains. You're, you probably shouldn't use this position, position zero. You shouldn't use a curve here to control the gain. And you shouldn't use this to control the gain because of the slowness of the servo channel. The servo channel is slowed down so that this has a delay to it. And you don't want to delay if you're going to fix gains or gyro off. You need to do that in receiver. So I beat that horse enough. Um, so basically, that's pretty much it. Just um, don't assign anything to the gain channel and let the mix handle it and let the servo travel speed set the speed that the that the gain changes at. 
So it's not too hard. I think that'll work. Six. Yep. There's that message again. And in the monitor screen, on. and I have the throttle on now. So the throttle's here and the gain is right here. So we're at plus 75. And as I throw the throttle to full throttle, the gains come down pretty quickly. And as I throttle back quickly, the gains gradually increase. So you can either set how much gain in the curve or set it in the receiver. But the total amount of change you're going to have to set in the curve. The, the max you can set in the curve and the receiver, but the min's going to have to be based on the curve. So anyway, there you go. Maybe that will work. I think it'll work. It looks pretty good to me. So anyway, later.